Google's Notebook LM has really taken the internet by storm, especially when it comes to AI podcast creation. But the question is, how do we actually use this tool in the real world? And in this video, I'm going to show you five real world use cases of Notebook LM. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. So if this is your first time here, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here as my goal is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So be sure to drop a comment below if you have any thoughts about Google's Notebook LM. But now let's dive into some real world use cases. So first of all, if you've never used this tool or even heard of Notebook LM, all you need to do is go to notebooklm.google and then you'll see here it says try Notebook LM. And if you click that, all you need is a free Google account to get going. And this is what your screen will look like with all the different notebooks. Now you'll see I've already created some stuff here. You probably won't have anything here besides new notebook. Uh, and so this example, we're gonna click new notebook. And the very first real world use case of Notebook LM, which is the most important in my opinion, is understanding a complex topic. This could be anything from rocket science to biochemistry to quantum computing, anything math related. But in this example, I'm just gonna do Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a very complex topic still, especially for the older generation. So in this example, you'll notice here you can upload sources. And so if I wanna learn the topic of Bitcoin, what are some sources that I would wanna put in here? And so very first, right, there's an entire Wikipedia article about Bitcoin. This would probably be a good source to have it feed into Notebook LM. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this Wikipedia article, come back to Notebook LM, and you'll see here there's an option under link where it says website. I'm going to click website, paste that URL, click insert, and then on the upper left, you'll notice this is where all your sources will compile. And even from just that one source, Notebook LM already summarized the Wikipedia article. You can get an FAQ, a study guide, table of contents, timeline, briefing doc. You can generate an AI podcast from just this one Wikipedia article, which I have a whole separate video for creating AI podcasts. Uh, but this is what it did from just that one source. But if you actually want to learn something, right, I probably want information from more than one source. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to YouTube and then type in what is Bitcoin. Try to find a YouTube video that explains Bitcoin. And if I scroll down here, right, this one has 6.7 million views. Uh, it has about almost 13 minutes. That's a lot of information there. This one has a little over a minute. So while it's probably good, I want one with more information. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click share. I'm gonna copy this YouTube URL, come back to my notebook. I'm gonna click notebook guide. If for some reason you lose that menu of sources, click notebook guide. And this is will come up here. And on the top left, you'll see add source. I'm gonna click add source. And under link, you'll sh you should see YouTube here. I'm gonna click YouTube. I'm gonna paste that YouTube video URL, click insert. And on the upper left, you'll now see my YouTube video is under the sources. I'm gonna add one more source actually to this, which is the Bitcoin white paper, which is a very long PDF. Uh, well, this actually it's nine pages, not as long as I thought. But anyways, I'm gonna add the Bitcoin white paper PDF. And so I'm gonna download this. Let's just download it to my desktop. And again, you can upload PDFs, you can upload YouTube videos, websites, any text, et cetera, et cetera, on whatever sources this allows you up here. Then I'm gonna come back to this and then just click upload sources where it says choose file to upload. You should find your PDF wherever you saved it. Here's my Bitcoin white paper PDF. And then on the top left, you'll notice the PDF is now here. So I now have these three sources that I can use to help me better understand a complex topic. Now, if you wanna add more, notice here you can add up to 50 different sources. So that's just a cool little feature there. But now what I can do here is you'll see there's a summary. I can do an FAQ if I want. I'm gonna click notebook guide. You can do a study guide. Um, you can do a table of contents. Uh, you can do a timeline, a briefing doc, and you can also generate an AI podcast list. I'm just going to click that. And so now as I wait for my podcast to generate, what you'll notice is I now have all these different notes that I created from these three sources. So here's right here. What is Bitcoin? And so in a very short synopsis, these are probably big FAQs that people would want to know about Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? How does Bitcoin work? What is Bitcoin mining? Advantages, disadvantages. How do I store it? Can I use Bitcoin to buy things? Is it a good investment, right? All these big FAQs that you would want to know if you're trying to learn about Bitcoin. And all of these responses came from the sources that I provided. So you may be thinking to yourself, Ryan, why don't I just go to ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude or some LLM and ask it, what does Bitcoin mean in two sentences? Well, you could do that, but the issue is you're relying on data and training data and data sets from these LLMs 
versus the actual sources that you are uploading by yourself. So that is the big selling point of using Notebook LM to learn a complex topic like Bitcoin. And if I click this, it gives me a study guide. So, I mean, honestly, guys, if you're a student watching this in college or high school, I would be leveraging Notebook LM every day for whatever it is that you're studying or working on. Uh, what is this one here? So this is a new note. So this is Bitcoin timeline. So if you want to know a timeline about something, uh, this is a really cool thing here. This is a briefing document. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, you can get all this stuff here and it looks like the podcast is still generating. So I'm going to skip ahead here and wait till this podcast is done and let's listen to that for a little bit. So I'm going to talk about the podcasting part more in depth soon. But what this did from these sources that I provided, it, it created a seven minute, seven minute, excuse me, audio transcription of Bitcoin. So let's just give this a little listen so you guys can see what it sounds like. All right, get this. We are diving deep, deep into Bitcoin. We've got Wikipedia, Satoshi's white paper, even one of those explainer videos. You know, the Bitcoin transaction ever and is public. Everyone has a copy. That's the blockchain. OK, but how? Yeah, that's the blockchain. Um, but anyways, you guys see how important this is when it comes to learning a complex topic, because let's be honest, guys, I'm in this boat. Some people learn better when they hear things versus reading things from a book, from the Internet. So this is a very unique way of compiling all these different sources, creating an audio format of two realistic voices to explain it to you in layman's terms. So long story short, that is the very first real world use case of Notebook LM is helping you better understand complex topics. So the second real world use case is probably the one you've been hearing about the most is creating AI generated podcasts. Now I created a video explaining how to do this and I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. But what you can do again with Notebook LM is providing sources. So in this example, I gave it a YouTube video, I gave it a PDF, and from whatever sources that you provide, you can create an AI generated podcast of the realistic voices talking like you just heard a few seconds ago. And what you can do with this is you can download this in a WAV file and then you can upload it into a tool like Revid AI and there's probably other ones out there where you can add subtitles, video overlays to this. You can separate the audio files using like some editor like Descript or Audacity. This isn't my wheelhouse, but I've seen other videos explaining this. And so I'm going to play my other video here really quickly just to show you what you can do with these AI generated podcasts from Notebook LM. Looking at this whole idea of white labeling uh -huh. when it comes to AI. Yeah. And we're looking at this video and article um, by Ryan Dozer. Oh. So you see what it did there. I added a video overlay. I added subtitles using this other tool from the audio file that I got from Notebook LM. And I'm not going to go too in depth on this real world use case, but obviously you could use AI podcasts for your business, for your personal brand. Uh, if you just want to do it for fun, you could do that too. But it still is a real world use case that you can use from Notebook LM. So again, I'd recommend watching this video on how to create AI podcasts with Notebook LM for more details about this specific, about this particular use case, excuse me. So a third real world use case of Notebook LM is summarization. I'm not just talking about any kind of summarization here. If you want to summarize an email or some article, you should just use ChatGPT for something like that. But when it comes to summarizing entire books, long PDFs, eBooks, I would recommend using Notebook LM for that. So I already have a PDF version of a book saved on my desktop. If you don't have one, you can find some at oceanofpdf.com gutenberg.org called Project Gutenberg. And there's all these other sources out there where you can get eBooks. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add source on the top left. I started a new notebook, as you can see, and I'm going to click choose file. And then I'm going to upload a book here. And the book that I've chosen in this example is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, probably my favorite book of all time. Um, but now you'll see on the left-hand side that it is uploading the PDF source. And so I'm going to wait and then come back after this is completely uploaded. So that probably took about 15 to 20 seconds. I just didn't want to make you guys sit here and wait for that. But you'll see right away, it provides a quick summary of the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss in a matter of seconds. And again, you can generate an FAQ, a study guide, a table of contents, a timeline, a briefing doc is probably important for summarizing a book. And while it's doing that, you'll notice that once I click something, the menu goes away. And if you find that happening, and I tripped up doing this the first time, all you need to do is click notebook guide down here, and this will open up the menu. It also has suggested questions. You can start typing down here if there's any notable quotes, right? So I'm going to ask, uh, what 
are some notable quotes from this book. So you can say something like that. And then it's going to scrape through the source that you provided and it's going to generate or answer whatever questions or prompts that you are asking it. So now I'm curious to see what this is going to reply with. So here it says, here are some notable quotes from the source. Uh, so these are just uh, people reviewing the book, it looks like, not the actual book itself. Um, but regardless, still a really unique use case that you can do. Again, you can also generate an audio version of the four-hour work week if you want to do that. So on the same topic, you can also summarize long PDFs. And why would you want to do this? Well, I'm going to show you why. So I just opened a new notebook here. I'm going to click Add Source. And then I'm going to upload this PDF of US copyright law. So in this example, I downloaded an entire PDF of the copyright law of 1976. So let's say I want to better understand US copyright law. Because I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't know anything about, I mean, I know the very basics, but you get what I'm saying. I don't know much about US copyright law. You could apply this to anything any law, uh, any court case, or just any long complex PDF that you don't understand, you can just upload this into a tool like Notebook LM. And then again, it will provide a summary right here. So right, the text from US copyright law completes the United States Copyright Act of 1976. This law defines a legal framework for protecting original works of authorship, yada, yada, yada. So again, a quick summary here. We could do an audio version to better understand U.S. copyright law. I think in this case, the thing that would really help you understand something like this is an FAQ and also probably a study guide. Uh, maybe a briefing doc or a timeline, but you can just do those two to start. And so let's just, I'm just going to wait and just let this complete to see what the FAQs are that it comes up with about U.S. copyright law. Uh, again, same with the briefing doc as well. So this is just a really great use case in addition to books is uploading long PDFs that you want to better understand. So again, copyright law FAQ. What is the subject matter of copyright as defined by U.S. law? What are the exclusive rights granted to copyright holders under U.S. law? I'm going to X out of this. Let's come back to this. Uh, so this is the Q&A. Okay, back to the FAQ. Sometimes it does this. When you're doing multiple tasks at once, it'll like overlay what you're already working on. You have to X out, open it back up. Kind of annoying, but just a little, uh, little annoyance there of Notebook LM. How is the law adapted to new technologies? How does U.S. copyright protection of designs? What is a license? So again, if you're interested in learning about U.S. copyright law, these are just some really good FAQs that it came up with based on what the actual PDF of the law states. And so again, you could do this here. I believe this is the briefing doc that I created. Um, so short answer question, short answer key. Uh, so really good idea there if you're trying to learn it. Essay questions. But you guys get the idea, right? So if I click notebook guide, you can do whatever you want. You can prompt it, start typing things. But again, this is just wrapping up another great use case of Notebook LM is summarizing long, complex PDFs into layman's terms. So staying on the same topic of summarization, another real world use case here is summarizing long form YouTube videos. So in this example, one YouTuber that I watch every week when it comes to staying up to date on AI news is Matt Wolf. And so a lot of his videos are about 30 minutes long. I don't necessarily have 30 minutes to sit through and watch all about AI news. And so what I can do is I can come and copy and paste the video URL. So I'm gonna click share, click copy, come back to Notebook LM and you'll see I started a new notebook and just a quick tip here, I'd recommend starting a new notebook for whatever different topic is that you're trying to learn. Don't try to cram multiple topics into one notebook. So I wanna make that very clear. And what you can do here is click add source. I'm gonna add that YouTube video URL right here, click insert. And on the left here, you'll see that it inserted the source, already came up with a summary. I think in this use case, what would make the most sense is probably table of contents as he read through a lot of news. Um, and then maybe like a briefing doc, we can just start there. And I'm gonna skip ahead after these are complete. All right, so it looks like the briefing doc had a hard time uh, getting this one here. Uh, but the table of contents seems, the format of this seems to work really well. And again, you can click this to minimize it. Um, but right here, this gives me a table of contents. So what he talked about was OpenAI news and it broke down all the different OpenAI stories under the one heading of OpenAI news. Uh, MetaConnect highlights and all the different things he talked about MetaConnect. Other AI news and developments. These are all the other stories that he talked about after OpenAI and MetaConnect. And so right here is a very digestible way to go through all the different AI news from the past week versus watching a 30 minute video. Again, you can skip ahead in the video to watch certain segments, I understand that. But if you wanna digest news quicker, you digest things better doing it this way via summarization, Notebook LM is an excellent tool for that.
So the final real world use case I'm going to explain with Notebook LM in this video is using this tool to help you write better articles. And I'm going to show you how I would do this. And so what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to I'm going to write an article on ChatGPT versus Claude. I probably should explain this in other examples, but I'm going to actually name my notebook so I can stay organized. So I'm going to do ChatGPT versus Claude. And so then what I want to do is add my sources. So I'm going to come up to the top left, click add source. And in this example, I found a YouTube video that I like on this topic. So I'm going to paste the YouTube video URL right here, click insert. And I found this article from Zapier that did a good job on this topic. So I'm going to copy and paste this article and add that as a source. So click website, paste the article, click insert. And then here's something interesting. I also found a Reddit thread, and you can do this for any forum that I liked on this topic. And I'm gonna copy and paste this, and then I'm gonna add this Reddit thread as a source. So click website, paste the Reddit thread, click insert, and then I'm gonna let that load a little bit. And so while it's doing that, now it's giving me the notebook guide that you guys have seen in all these examples. So if I wanna write an article, right, what would help me do this? Well, I have a quick prompt that I use, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to come to Notebook LM and I'm gonna start typing down here. Instead of asking for one of these default options of FAQ, study guide, doc, timeline, et cetera, I'm gonna ask it the following. Based on these sources, write me a blog post outline targeting the keyword chat GPT versus Claude. And I'm gonna come back after this output is complete. All right, so here's the blog post outline that Notebook LM provided me with. Notice I asked for an outline and not a complete blog post. I wouldn't recommend writing full blog posts with Notebook LM. We can leverage a tool like ChatGPT or Claude to do that for us. And so here it gave me a blog post outline. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy and paste this entire outline. And then what I'm going to do is open up ChatGPT and notice I'm using my custom GPT and that's what I would recommend you use to write the best uh, articles possible in your brand voice, your style, your tone, etc. You could also use a Claude project for this as well. But then what I'm going to do is prompt my custom GPT with the following. If I provide a target keyword and a content outline, can you generate an SEO optimized blog post? I'm going to click enter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say target keyword chat GPT versus Claude. And then I'm going to say blog post outline. And remember, I had that copy and pasted on my clipboard already. So here's that outline from Notebook LM. And then I'm going to click enter. And so that was really quick. I didn't expect GPT 4.0 to be that quick. And so right away from this target keyword and this blog post outline that I got from Notebook LM, what this is doing is it's now creating an SEO optimized article based on the target keyword, ChatGPT versus Claude. Even generated a table here. This isn't very accurate because it has uh, different model versions, right? Um, and so creativity, logic and reasoning. And again, this isn't going to be perfect. You can come back, tweak whatever you want, add a human touch, polish this article as much as possible. But this is just gonna give you a good start into writing SEO optimized articles with the help of Notebook LM using whatever sources that you want. And that is the benefit of this, right? I could have just went to ChatGPT and said, write me an SEO optimized article. Here's the keyword, here's a few more details, go. And that's what most people do. But instead with Notebook LM, you can provide whatever sources that you want on a given topic, ask it for an outline, ask it for whatever, copy and paste that outline into a tool like ChatGPT, use a custom GPT so it mimics your voice better, copy and paste the outline here, and then here it gives me the blog post. And again, I can come back, fine tune this. I wouldn't recommend just copying and pasting this entire blog post, but this should give you a really good start into writing a high quality SEO optimized article. So that's it, guys. Those are some real world use cases that you can use Notebook LM for right now. And there's probably a million other use cases that I didn't talk about. So if you have anything that you're using Notebook LM for, please let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video valuable, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.